They arrive on the shores of Europe from places like North Africa, Syria, and Egypt, carrying little more than dreams of escaping lives of poverty and violence. But for thousands of underage migrants, only hardship awaits. Termini Station is Rome's transportation hub, but for many migrant teens, it's a source of work. Many resorting to selling drugs and sex at the station to survive. If someone wants to have sex, he asks them to follow him to his house. It works like this. They come to the Termini station, they'll say, I will give you some money if you come to my place. That's how it works. 18-year-old Abib arrived from Egypt when he was a minor. The Associated Press is not using real names or otherwise identifying underage migrants in order to protect them. Abib says he makes up to 300 euros a day dealing drugs at the station. We've noticed, in particular, crimes related to drug selling. Minors are used for drug selling because for them, the penalty is quite low and the chance of being arrested is even lower compared with adults. Other miners resort to working as undocumented labor. They sneak into this produce market outside Rome, paid a few euros to load and unload fruit. 17-year-old Saeed says he's paid five euros a day, so we collect this stuff, he says. And then someone comes with a car and buys it. Similar stories play out across Europe. Europol estimates at least 10,000 kids have gone missing from shelters or reception centers. The EU says it has developed systems to improve the reception of minors, provide health care, and help unite them with relatives faster. Sweden gets by far the most unaccompanied minors applying for asylum, 35,000 in 2015. Our life is difficult. Our lives have been hard since we were young. When we came to Sweden, we were happy as we thought we would get help, but we didn't get any help at all. 17-year-old Yusuf came to Sweden from Morocco. He now lives on the streets of Stockholm. He and his friends get by stealing food from supermarkets and sleeping in mosques. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.